Welcome. Do you sometimes wonder if you are actually an INFP? Maybe you are a little confused. So let me bring you some examples of behaviors that are unlike INFP. And maybe that will clear the confusion. And at the end of the video, be like, yeah, yeah, INFP, this is who I am. Let's see. Let's see the examples. I really love cats. You are not an INFP if you hate animals. If you are walking on the street and you see a dog and you're like, that's an ugly dog. I would never want to own this dog or pet this dog or be in this dog's proximity. That is unlike an INFP because most INFPs want to hug all the animals. So if you don't like animals, you don't like to be with animals, and if you don't like the idea of owning a lot of animals, then you might not be an INFP. And it doesn't really matter if you're a dog person, a cat person, maybe a pig person, maybe a frog person, maybe a spider person. Okay, I, I'm not sure about the spider person, but you know, it doesn't matter. It's all about you feeling and caring about other beings, other sentient beings. Kylie Jenner to the foyer. I have a little surprise for you. Is that a chicken? You are not an INFP if it doesn't matter to you if music exists or not. I don't know if you if you can believe me, but there are people that really say things like that, that music could not exist at all. You know, and if, if you think that way, then INFP is not for you, okay? INFPs like music, love music, all kinds of music, and music has to exist. Music is a catalyst for emotion. You know, it's how humans convey their emotions through through notes and words and little melodies. And if you don't like music, not a nine of B. Are not an INFP if you are consistent at keeping up with other people. You know, chatting them and saying, How are you doing, friend? If you are consistent, like you do it every day, and you like have a lot of people that you, you keep up with, that's kind of not an INFP. And it's not really that INFPs don't want to sometimes. It's that they kind of forget and they kind of get occupied with their own internal uh, brains, you know? So if you are like on it and you're like, you wake up in the morning and you think, I wonder what all these people are up to, then you're probably not an INFP. Because normally an INFP wakes up and the first thing that they think about is how they feel, not how other people feel. So if you wake up and you reach for the phone and first thing you do is chat someone, you might reconsider if you are an INFP. I really love cats. You are not an INFP if you don't ever say thank you. And you might think all types say thank you. What are you talking about? Yes, but INFPs like to overuse it because they are grateful to everyone about everything. If someone does anything, them they are grateful because they feel that it, it it's nice you know someone brings you something like thank you that was so nice INFPs are just grateful people so if you are one of these people that kind of forgets about saying thank you or kind of thinks that he deserves to everything that people do for them you are not an INFP that's very unlike an INFP you Oh, thank you, Mrs. You are not an INFP if you don't appreciate beauty of life, of nature, of other creatures, of everything. You know, life is such an accident. It's such a beautiful accident. And if you don't recognize that, possibly on a daily basis, then you are not an INFP. INFPs like to look around and find happiness and beauty in the smallest of things. That's the gift. You know, they can find something positive in everything. 
And if you go through life thinking that everything's bad and everything's ugly, then you are probably not an INFP. I don't like it when things happen. You might not be an INFP if you only have one hobby. If you found your hobby and you are fine with it and you enjoy doing it every day, let's say in the same way as you did it before and you just keep on doing the same thing, the same hobby, and you like that, you are not an INFP. An INFP is more likely to keep looking for new hobbies because they like to experiment with different activities, with different ways to express themselves. You know, it's fine having one hobby, but at some point they want to express themselves in a different way, to experience a different kind of activity. So they are more likely to develop a lot of different hobbies. So if you find yourself sticking to only one hobby, you are probably not an INFP. You are not an INFP if you can easily translate your thoughts into words. If you are a good public speaker, then you might not be an INFP. I mean, INFPs can learn, yes, but it's difficult to transfer so many thoughts and so many internal emotions you know, into simple, basic words. I mean, how can words ever express the depth of your internal being? And that's why INFPs struggle sometimes. And you might say they are quiet, but inside their heads, they are very, very loud. It's just that the translation doesn't quite work so fast, you know? So if you can easily say what you want to say in a clear way, then you might not be an INFP. Exactly. Are you always this articulate? You are not an INFP if you are not creative. If you don't have that involuntary chatter in your head that's creative and it's creating all new ideas all the time. And you know, there's this thinking that INFPs always do arts or music. And, you know, INFPs like to express themselves in a creative way, but it doesn't have to be that. It's all about that involuntary process of creating new ideas inside your head. That's what creativity is. If you don't have that, if your mind's kind of quiet, then you are not an INFP. An INFP is creating different worlds inside their heads. It's a constant generation of ideas all the time. They don't actually have to do anything with it. You know, that's not creativity but they keep coming up with new ideas all the time, even if they don't wanna. That's the curse of creativity. So if you don't have that, I'm sorry to say, but you are not an INFP. I really love cats. If you learn something new, and if your first instinct is to go to other people and tell them about it, then you might not be an INFP. INFP's first instinct when they learn something is never to share it with the people. It's to integrate and to see how it fits with their feelings. You know, it's not to broadcast it as quickly as possible to as many people as possible. It's to figure out what it means to them. So if that's what you do, then you are not an INFP. You are not an INFP if you can easily choose your career. If you can easily choose what you want to be doing until the rest of your life, then that's very unlike an INFP because INFPs want to experience a lot of things, a lot of different activities, like I said before. So they want to experience so many things. It's hard for them to pick one thing and just keep rolling with it. They don't want to close any doors on anything. So if you can easily say, oh, I'm gonna do accounting, because it's it's good industry, you know. If you can decide that and then keep on with it for the rest of your life, then you are probably not an INFP. I really love cats. You might not be an INFP if you hate naps. If you hate sleeping, if you hate them 20, 30 minutes, sometimes three hour naps, 
Um, if you hate those because you want to be productive and on point, then you might not be an INFP. Because INFPs like to nap. A lot of people like to nap. Sleep is fantastic. But if you hate them, if you dislike them completely, then you are probably not an INFP. You I'm sorry for sleeping, guys. Oh my god. Sorry, guys. I napped. All they could say is, hey, you took a nap and that was bad. You are not an INFP if you are used to getting your way. You know, if you decided on something and you want to do it and you are used to people just doing it for you because you kind of force them to or like manipulate them to, then you are not an INFP. If you kind of enforce your will onto people most of the time, then that's very much unlike an INFP. INFPs are more like compromise. They have an idea of what they want to do, but they would like to include everyone into decisions. You know, they just want to cooperate with people. It's it's like if you imagine INFP is a leader, they want to gather the team and then decide as a team what to do. But if you are a person that kind of is a leader and then the leader decides what the what everyone is going to do, then you are probably not an INFP. You are not an INFP if you love to share your ideas all the time. If you want to tell people what you think about every little detail of your life and you tell it to people that you barely know, that's that's not an INFP. Okay, INFPs value their opinions and they are very delicate in who they're going to tell what opinion. You know, they... They value their own opinions and they don't really want to impose opinions upon others. So if you are a person that likes to grab your bag of opinions and just throw it at people all the time and just tell people what you think about things, you might not be an INFP. I really love cats. But not an INFP if, when making a decision, you don't take other people into consideration. If your aim with your decision is not to some degree to help other people, then you are not an INFP. INFPs always want to help other people. It's always in the back of their heads that they should help people, help the world, help the animals. They just want to be helpful. It doesn't mean that they always are actively helpful but when they want to do something they want this thing to be positive to as many people as many things in the world so if you don't really think about other beings if you don't really care about if if what you're gonna do is gonna affect other people then you are not an INFP no offense but I really don't care you are not an INFP if you can't feel two different emotions at the same time INFPs have this ability to have even opposing emotions at the same time. Then they can be very positive and very negative at the same time. They can be happy and sad. And sometimes the sadness can make them happy. And sometimes they're so happy they get sad, you know, and they can they have this flux of different emotions. And if you can't feel two emotions at the same time, like if you you angry but you can't feel happy at the same time, you know it, then you might not be an INFP. INFPs are very adept at their emotions. You, I really love cats. you are not an INFP if you can't find a silver lining, a positive thing in almost anything. INFPs have this gift of always looking at the world and hoping and being optimistic about the world that always something is positive. And that's a very good thing to have. They can get very pessimistic as well, but like I said before, they can feel two emotions at the same time, but they are always looking for positives. So if you can't really find any positives in anything, and you're kind of cynical about the world, then you might not be an INFP. You might not be an INFP if you are not your own worst critic. You know, when you make something and you think, wow, that is so good, I'm so talented. What a fantastic thing I just made. And then you show it to people because you feel like it's so good. And they're like, it's kind of me. 
If you are not very critical about anything that you make, then you might not be an INFP. Because INFPs want their things to be perfect. They want their, their things to be good. And because INFPs overthink so much everything, then they keep constantly looking at whatever it is that they made and overthinking it, overdoing it. They keep revisions, revision that, revision two, revision three. They keep trying to improve it instead of finishing it and then jumping to the next bit because they want it to be perfect. So if you easily finish things and think they are very, very good, then you might not be an INFP. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. You might not be an INFP if you really care about money. If you care about your wealth, if you care about making more money than people around you. Because INFPs don't really care about money. Money is just a useful thing to have because it allows them to do more things, to experience the world, you know, to be nice to other people because it's nice to buy something for someone. That's what the money is for. But they don't really care about how much they have or how much they earn. They just want to have enough to live a nice life. So if you really care about how much you're making and like checking your bank account and you're asking people around how much they are making and you're buying the latest car just to show it around, then my friend, you might not be an INFP. INFP just slowly get their money and just try to make the world a better place with it. I really love you are not an INFP if you don't have any sense of humor. You know, if you don't like jokes, if you don't laugh often, then you are not an INFP. INFPs have an ability to, to laugh at almost everything. They have a great sense of humor. They make great jokes. They make great memes. Because of the way they think, they always make connections inside their heads. And sometimes it's funny connections, you know? So they always find these quirky things about the world. And it's funny. And they laugh a lot. They are fun people. So if you hate fun, if you hate laughter, you are not an INFP. I'm sorry. You it ain't so quirky to eat a lot of turkey on the Thanksgiving day. Yay. You might not be an INFP if you have a really large group of friends. And that's because INFPs like to have a group of friends. Everyone likes to have friends, and INFPs like to have friends as well. But they are more focused on the quality of the friendship rather than the quantity. They like depth more. They like to know fewer people, just really, really know them, you know? So they can be shy to people that they don't know, but then a friend comes along and they just open up and they are a completely different person. So if you have a large circle of friends and you keep up all with them all the time, then you possibly are not an INFP. I really love you are not an INFP if you enjoy being in the center of attention. INFPs don't like being in the center of attention. They will actually actively try to stop being in the center of attention. You know, some people really want the attention and they want everyone to notice them all the time. So they do things for people where INFP sometimes does something and they, they don't want to take credit because that's going to put attention on them. So they are actively trying to stop the attention because they don't want it. And if it's like a team effort, INFP will always say that everyone was involved. Doesn't matter if they were, just to spread the attentions, just so the attention is not just an INFP. So if you like attention, probably not an INFP. 